Hello, my name is Samantha Blackwell, and today I will be discussing the elements of both structuralism and post-structuralism in the short story The Figure in the Carpet by Henry James. In order to understand the examples shown in this presentation, two terms must be defined and studied closely, the first being structuralism. The Bedford Glossary of Critical and Literary Terms defines the term structuralism as a theory of humankind whose proponents attempted to show systematically, even scientifically, that all elements of human culture, including literature, may be understood as parts of a system of science. In other words, the theory of structuralism means that several interpretations of one idea can be made. There is not a singular meaning behind something with this theory. Structuralism arose in France in the 1950s, particularly following World War II, and was heavily criti critiqued due to post-structuralist ideas. Structuralists held and continue to hold the belief that every type of communication involves a sign of underlying meaning. Post-structuralism, on the other hand, revolves around the uncertainty and unreliability of language, according to the book Beginning Theory and Introduction to Literary and Cultural Theory. The Bedford Glossary of Critical and Literary Terms defines post-structuralism as the general attempt to contest and subvert structuralism and to formulate new theories regarding interpretation and meaning. Essentially, post-structuralism is the idea that there is one singular meaning behind a piece of work, in the case of literary criticism. This is the complete opposite of structuralism. Post-structuralism also arose in France, but in the 1960s. Post-structuralists believe that texts constantly contradict themselves, therefore there is no use for meaning itself. Many post-structuralists view the world as a text as we live, think, and act within a world network of cultural discourses. Now that structuralism and post-structuralism have been defined, the background of the author of The Figure in the Carpet, Henry James, will be shared. Henry James, born in 1843, was a skillful American author that wrote primarily prose fiction in his early life, but additionally practiced other genres. James focused on writing about the mind rather than the actions in his stories, which means that he most likely enjoyed writing from a psychological approach. James was an active observer and participant in society, suggesting that he had an abundance of knowledge about the way that humans think. James went on to write one of his most acknowledged short stories titled The Figure in the Carpet, published in 1896. The short story follows a narrator that becomes obsessed with discovering the underlying meaning behind one of his favorite author's works. The story is told in first person, but the name of the narrator is never revealed. As mentioned previously, the story deals with elements of both structuralism and post-structuralism. A quote from the story itself states, My whole lucid effort gives him the clue, every page and line and letter. The things as concrete, they're as a bird in a cage, a bait on a hook, a piece of cheese in a mouse trap. It's stuck into every volume as your foot is stuck into your shoe. It governs every line, it chooses every word, it dots every I, it places every comma. This is said by Hugh Vereker, the author in the story. He is explaining that there is a secret, but it will never be shared. However, the secret is big, and any individual who devotes enough time to studying his stories will be able to find it. While there are several lone examples of structuralism and the figure in the carpet, the most obvious is Vereker's writings. In the story, Hugh Vereker acclaims that there is an underlying meaning in all of his works. He does not dare to reveal his secret, yet states that it is clear once found. Those who encourage the narrator to discover Vereker's secret also play a crucial role in the story. The same people that the narrator asks about Vereker's secret are those who are close to the author himself. These individuals never disclose why they will not tell the narrator, yet they encourage that there is in fact a single underlying message. Post-structuralism, however, can be found in James' writing of the story. It is not clear what James' inspiration for the figure in the carpet was, but he allows readers to draw their own conclusions. These readers, though, do not hold the same belief when it comes to the meaning behind the story. However, some think that James is calling out negligent critics or literary criticism in general. 
Nonetheless, as the narrator does not discover Veracruz's big secret in his writings, readers of The Figure in the Carpet are left to their own imagination, which has drawn many critics to analyze this piece. Thank you.